Judge Topp has completed his placings in the Ayrshire Winter Yearling Class. Juniors, please take a step forward. Our second place junior is entry number 460, Wingert's Burdette Sassy, exhibited by Jasmine Wingert from Kent, Illinois. Our first place junior is also second place in the open show, and that is 471, Family Affair Max Dreamer, exhibited by Rachel Heppel from Epworth, Iowa. Our third place class winner in the open show is 465, Old Bankston B. Fearsome, exhibited by Delaney Callie and Cooper Barber from DeWitt, Iowa. And again, second place, Family Affair Max Dreamer, exhibited by Rachel Heffel from Epworth, Iowa. And winning the class is entry number 2613, Heinemann Viking Karma, and that is also our best bred known, exhibited by Angela Fuller from Attica, New York. Congratulations. Judge Top, your comments. Another great class for your winter yearling heifer class. Uh, different shapes, sizes, heifers uh, do a little sooner than others. But for uh, me and myself and Matt today, a heifer it comes to the top quite handily for us. Just a heifer it has got the least amount of faults when you break her down part for part. She's a little cleaner all the way through. Shows you a little more femininity down through that bone structure, over that rib structure, than a real balanced heifer coming here in second. Over in the International Junior Holstein Show Ring, Judge View has completed his placings in the Winter Yearling class. Winning the Junior Bread and Owned Award in the class is entry number 165, Arrowridge Atwood Lucille, exhibited by Hannah Richman of Mannington, New Jersey. Placing third in the class is entry number 163, Ryan View Mario Serenade, exhibited by Ryan Zilgis and Zilgis of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Second in the class is entry number 159, Budge on Bail Atomic Bomb, exhibited by Elise and Brady Black of Glenbeulah, Wisconsin. Winning the class is entry number 161, Keystone Solomon All Star, exhibited by Ella Lavati and Luke Seib of Lidditz, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. Eddie, your reasons on the class. Well, uh, another wonderful class here in the winter yearling class. Maybe not a heifer that just uh, overwhelmed us, but when we analyze them, this first place heifer, she's so correct in her part. She's so straight in her lines. She walks on a nice set of feet and legs. She just has a little bit more stronger across her top line today. She has more direct depth and openness at rear flank today, more length from end to end, and just a little cleaner through the head today to go over this really beautiful black dairy heifer follow along in second. But we felt the heifer in second followed the pattern in the first place heifer. She has carried her tail down in between her pins a little nicer and the heifer following along in third. Had a little more width to the chest, a little more width to the nose, width through the pins, just a little more overall oomph and spring to that barrel to go over this really correct heifer following along in third. But the third place heifer or the fourth place heifer, she uses that depth and that openness to her rib structure, the depth of heart, the length of frame, and the cleanliness the way, all the way throughout. The third place heifer also probably walks on the best set of feet and legs in the class, and she has a definite advantage over the fourth place heifer in the way she tracks and moves a little freer on, the, on her feet, rear feet and legs and the beautiful stylish black heifer come along in fourth. Fourth place heifer, though, does have a more correct foot setting, a more correct foot angle, sets those feet and legs down a little nicer in the really dairy heifer in fifth. Then fifth over six, I think a really close placing, but she just has a little more power up to that front end, a little more spring and openness to her barrel today to go over another dairy heifer in six. But a beautiful class all the way down. <laughs> 